Welcome to Lord Fussington's walkthrough of Hitman Absolution. I'm your walkthrough master, Lord Fussington, and in today's video, I will be walking you through Mission 11, Dexter Industries, where I will achieve the rank of, uh, I have no idea, Specialist, with 140,800 points. This is done on Purist, difficulty that is. Um, no disguises are used, so suit only. All the evidence is obtained, and uh, it's all stealth, so I wasn't seen at all or anything like that. And that's the best score I could get. Oh yeah, there aren't any pacifications or uh, kills either. Okay. So this is a, a cutscene, um, which, uh, which I will skip in a second. It's a dog, if, if you didn't know. That's a, that's a snake. Obviously this is symbolic, but uh, who gives a shit? So let's talk about this mission. Dexter Industries is um, kind of annoying. I find all of the missions where you have to evade a, a large group of the same um, type of people. You know, so like just police officers, for instance. I always find those missions annoying, especially if you're trying to do it with, uh, you know, no disguises, so no instinct is being used here or anything like that. Alright, so you want to grab this screwdriver first off, it's the best weapon in the game, and what we're going to do is uh, stand by this window here and wait, okay, we're going to climb through it because that's just how we roll. When that guy stops looking in our direction, because uh, he is right now, he just can't see us because he's actually blind we're going to move forward so now he's getting off and now we can move forward yes brilliant and um, we disable the primary system you can see that right there because it says it that's one of our objectives okay so hide near this car right this this is a jeep it's shit and we've got to wait until he passes by when he does boom skills that's when we move right and now you want to get behind here that got guy, that guy's probably his awareness meter is going to be going up when you do that so make sure you get to where I went. Yeah, anyway, you saw it because it's a video. Alright, so move over there. Hug the wall. You can see how I'm doing that right now. And now you just have to put your back to this area here. That guy won't see us because he's not blind, but he is retarded. And this is a good spot right here because uh, no one no one will be able to, to see us. Essentially, we're invisible. That's uh, that's a fact. That's just, that's just a fact. So this is like the first kind of point where we have to wait a little bit. Okay, so they're gonna have a conversation. Uh, I have no idea what it's about because uh, there aren't any subtitles. And uh, there's gonna be a guard. You can see him walking now. He's gonna walk there, and then he's gonna stand in front of a window for about 16 hours. Don't worry, I fast forward through the 16 hours. And when he turns around, that's when we climb through that window over there. You can see it's open. It's on the right side. It's an open. There's no glass. So on the left side, where a guy is standing, right? The guy in front of that glass window, not the guy outside of the thing. The the other guy. He's oh, I'm okay. Glass window, right? So that window has glass on it. The other one doesn't. So that's the open window. So we're gonna go through the open window, the one that's glassless. I'm glad I explained all that. What a walk through. Um, so now he's gonna turn around. Amazing. Oh shit. And now you just jump right through it. Great. Okay. Disable security system, the secondary security system. Oh, okay, backup system. What the fuck? Primary, secondary, that's how it works, but anyway. Okay, so now we've got the screwdriver here. Where did I get the screwdriver? Oh yeah, right, I got the screwdriver. Okay, yeah. Have I had the screwdriver the entire time? I think I have. Yeah, I have. Oh yeah, that was really at the beginning, okay. So now we toss that. Now, you can see what I did there. I waited until the guy turned around, but I also waited a little bit longer because he needs to be walking away, okay? When he's walking away, that's when you want to throw it. Because if you throw it when he just turns around, he will also get distracted by the screwdriver. You'll be distracting two guards as opposed to one. Um, right. So now you get over here. You have to move quickly for that. This 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 section you have to move quickly because he can catch you. The reason he didn't is because he's an idiot. Um, he just wasn't looking in my direction, clearly. And then you want to go here. Wait until he moves. Okay, and then you just follow him. So everything is kind of timed. Um, you have to know what's going on. That's part of gaming. Usually there's a guard here. He should be gone now. Uh, he is. I said that a little bit late. Alright, so screwdriver. Second best weapon in the game. 
And you want to just throw it here. I find this is the best spot to throw it. Okay. Who's there? There? Oh, and the guy I was referring to that I said, uh, like, th so you, that you don't want to distract. Um, that guy. Also, here you want to move quickly. You want to make sure you, because there's going to be a guard coming here again. Um, you know, like when I was staring at the secondary uh, system or whatever, security system. Oh, like. Um, like through that window when I was outside. Anyway, whatever. You can see exactly what I did because this is a video. I don't know why I just re-explained shit. Alright, so this guy, you don't want to shoot him in the head. You just want to watch him. Okay, what he's going to do is... Oh, what the f... What am I doing? St stop! Oh my god. Alright, so I'm I'm trolling myself right now. I'm tr Past me is trolling, present me. Okay, so, what the fuck? Oh my god. God, I hate myself right now. So you can see the guy that's standing against the beam, like he's... His back's against... I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm gonna rage. Uh, okay, so now that he's moved, you wanna sabotage the box. God, what, God, am I annoying. <laughs> uh, the viewers are nodding their heads. Okay, so you go down here. I think at this point I was just annoyed at having done the mission this level so many times. Like, it's in this actual run I did it three times, but pr like before I did the recording I, I was practicing it and this one, the old mill is the most difficult in my opinion. Alright, so this it's sabotaging the thing will bring, because there are two guys playing on the game, uh, on the console or whatever, in front of the TV. But the console's attached to the TV, and that's... Anyway, you know how consoles work. And, uh, so sabotaging it will shut down the television and the console while well, the entire power bar there. And, uh, that'll, uh, cause one of them to go check it out, and the other one's gonna, you know, I don't know, be messing with the wire. So you want to grab the evidence on top of that console. So that's why we do that. There's another way to do it. You can use the metal pipe, actually, and just distract them. But I prefer using the metal pipe for this. You can also grab the gasoline can, which is right next to the evidence, by the way. So this takes, um, I find this a little bit arbitrary. When you get around here, that guy will walk down the stairs. He'll talk into the mic. Um, alpha 4 checking in, blah, blah, blah. And when this guy passes, you want to throw that. Okay? What was that? And that'll distract the guy on our right. That was standing in front of the staircase. And now you want to get behind him. So you gotta be a little bit careful there. Sometimes the guy doesn't get distracted. He doesn't walk to the right position. Um, and he catches you. Sometimes the guy in the sunglasses catches you. Uh, it's just, it's really kind of annoying. Um, but I find this method is actually the most consistent at the very least. Uh, as opposed to some of the other ones which I find hardly ever work. Like this will work 8 out of 10 times. I say that, but, you know. Okay, next place. Right, so this is Descent. I skipped, you can see I skipped the cutscene here, okay? Um, I, I recommend doing so for uh, a later point. Okay, so climb down here. The, the first, this is actually a really easy section, to be honest. I think there's, uh, might be some kind of, uh, challenge to do here but oh yeah there's a proxy I think there's a proximity mine challenge as well all of the challenges are completed in this level by the way so 47 is obviously not gonna fall to his death because that would just ruin the game it's fairly linear okay so now we're here there are three guys to worry about um, again, you're going to have to wait until they have a conversation, the two guys closest to us. The third guy, you can see him in the, you know, at the far end there, standing at the top. He's got a little light on his chest. Um, so he, he will see you if you go in that er this area here where the two guys are. So you have to always have something in f between you and him. So, and it's, it can't be like air, it's got to be a barrier of some kind. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's helpful, that's good, yeah. Great job. 
So wait until they finish their conversation, and then um, then what you want to do is teleport to the map that they're talking. They're like, you know, looking over. Okay, so teleport, boom, and then you just grab the evidence, and then you go over here. So the awareness bar will be going up, but who gives a shit? And then you walk down here. Amazing. I'm just, oh God, he's so good. I'm so good. Who's good? Okay, wrench. So we got the wrench. This is uh, probably the best weapon in the game. And what you do with the wrench, I mean, you can do a variety of things with the wrench. You can, like, fix things and stuff, but we're going to use it as a, to throw. Um, you can also hit him in the head over there. That's James, uh, the guy that's standing nearest to us. Um, he's talking to Fred. So James and Fred will actually walk through that door. See, usually the key card, you can use the key card here, right? But I just walk through. So you don't really have to grab the key card in the old mill, because um, it does waste about a second. If you didn't skip the cutscene, I think a guy walks by and he will catch you. Uh, but I skipped uh, skipped the cutscene at the very beginning. I said skip the cutscene. If you didn't skip the cutscene, um, it's, it's your own fault. Okay. So this is the plan, right? Let me tell you the plan. So we've got a wrench, and there's another. What the? F what am I doing? And there's another wrench near the mine cart right in front of us. Okay. You can see a mine cart right there. You can see it's right there. It is, and there's a wrench on the floor. So what we're gonna do? There are four guards that are gonna be wa uh, two guards that will be walking around this area, and two guards that will be stationed near uh, that doorway that we have to pass through. We've got to distract do those two guards that are st that are stationed. The other two will uh, kind of their their patrol paths will um, allow us to not have to worry about them essentially. There's also a metal pipe in the same room as us but we won't be using that. So you basically, if you want to use that, there are three, three, um, there's a metal pipe. Three uh, items of distraction. Okay. So this guy is I think his name's Jack. And um, Jack will walk to the right here, okay? So you don't want to go over there now. You just want to wait. If you go over there, he will catch you, by the way. So when he actually leaves, that's when you want to jump over this uh, barrier. Okay, this little stone wall. And quickly make your way to the minecart, okay? Now, throw the wrench over there. Boom! Skill shot. And then you want to take this wrench and throw it near the explosive, uh, whatever, tank or whatever. Okay. And then you go. That's that simple. Alright, so there's Fred. And that's James, okay? Did I use those names? I probably did. Okay. So, they're going to talk. Now they're going to walk. Okay, whatever. So, really simple. Might be more than friends. And we go over here. Hide behind his minecart. Um, I, I don't know. If you don't skip the cutscene, there's a lone patrol. You can see him over there. He'll be much closer to the minecart. And you're going to have to actually hide behind a minecart for a certain period of time before you can go past. If you skip the scene, he, he'll he be where he was just a second ago. Or three seconds ago, or four, or whatever. Um, that's why you... That's actually the reason you skip the scene. Alright. Or you restart at the checkpoint. So that's... And that's it for this. This uh, Did I get the evidence? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah the guys with the map and shit. Yeah. Start the generator. Take this bitch down. All right, boom, amazing. Yep. So now we're here, I, uh, I think I skipped the scene again. I don't think you necessarily need to, I just did. I don't think it affects, t uh, maybe. I don't know, I usually skip the scene here because there's no point in really watching it. Um, the challenge here is quite annoying, uh, particularly the second of the three. Uh, kind of consecutive ch challenges. 
uh, with the sniper rifle that is but uh, yeah good luck with that the second one you have to shoot them off the bridge by the way and make sure they don't see it happening so there's a certain order but I think there are, I think there are YouTube videos about it so you can check those out I haven't done any uh, with the challenges because it's a shit ton of work <clears throat> and I'm a lazy bastard so you want to be careful moving you want to move quickly as quickly as you can to the left you can't really speed it up in any way but you don't want to just sort of stop at some point because the guy on our right now actually stands facing kind of in our direction instead of standing and facing uh, at a 90 degree angle he's he's at a what is that like 70 well depends how you're looking at it okay well I'm not at any yeah whatever so you got <laughs> so you go you gotta kind of make sure you move quickly or else he will see you uh, or his awareness bar will go up and you will see you because that's how it works anyway you will move left here um, obviously because that's this is just where you have to go and then climb up amazing then just just move just gotta move alright there's gonna be a, a guard walking across here boom cover so that was all skill um, inarguably right god I'm so shit and then you just scale this cover and then you go here now that guard you've gotta ma make sure you're, you're hugging like definitely hug the fence here okay you've gotta stay on the left I think I even stop at one point but you don't necessarily have to do that and um or that guard will see you now just wait until this guard actually walks past okay now the way I did it in this video is not the best way to p get past this area you don't want to actually take the radio what you want to do is wait until like right now would be a good time to turn on the radio okay so you turn on the radio and then or even when he's walking turn on the radio then go here and grab the metal pipe then you take the metal pipe and you throw it in the far left corner over there where I'm throwing the radio right now. And that'll, you'll essentially be distracting both of the guards. Um, and you won't have to kind of hesitate like I'm doing now. Because I'm not quite sure where this guard is. I don't know if he's facing my direction. So this is much, this is kind of risky. And that guard on our left right now is probably about to turn around. So you want to use both the radio and the metal pipe and just turn on the radio. I mean, that's why it's there. It's conveniently placed, and I just didn't use it. Um, I didn't do it the best way, I think. But, anyway. So that's some excellent advice. You're welcome. I don't offer a lot of great advice. I mean, I did tell you a screwdriver is the best weapon in the game. Um, and I never said the wrench was. <laughs> okay, so, you want to wait in, I think there's a guard up here. Yeah, there probably is. Uh, where the fuck is he? 47 is so strong. Look, he just he doesn't even care. He's like, whatever. Just holding on to that shit. It's not even using his feet. <sighs> anyway, I'm that strong. <laughs> uh, there's a door at the uh, at the end. There's a sniper rifle inside if you want. And I think there's other stuff as well. Um, I think. Um, oh yeah, there's a gateway to Never Neverland. Uh, it's really amazing. So uh, if you want to take the gateway, it's actually an Easter egg. Yeah. Fact. Okay. I'll be honest. Um, I sp I spent a, a while waiting right here, which is stupid. Because I remembered there being a guard that goes into the bathroom. I just didn't think that it would take him so long to get there. Um, he's got a far larger bladder than I thought he did so now is probably a good time to go into the bathroom then use the vent in the bathroom to get out and then uh, walk like on the left side there's a guard standing so you walk behind a guard through the doorway and whatever so you'll see I'll, I'll end up doing that but there was a better opportunity really to go through and I just didn't take it um, but yeah Instead, I actually did it when the guard, I think, was about to go into... Yeah, I think he was coming to go into the bathroom. So I think I go now. Yeah. 
Okay, so you go in. So now, right now, the guard's actually going to go to the bathroom. Uh, I think you'll be able to... Well, actually, I probably lowered the, the sound, but I heard the bathroom door open. So right now, he's probably... No, not yet. Yeah, now he's probably in the bathroom. So... Yeah. So the guard's in the bathroom now. But if you had done it when I... Like, earlier on, it's it's just better. You would just finish, finish, the, uh, finish the mission a little bit quicker and all that. So wait until this guard goes here, and then he's going to leave and walk in front of the uh, sort of the glass pane, right? The window there. It's made of glass. I think it's made of glass. I don't know. It's got to be made. It's probably not plastic. Oh, it could be plastic. I don't know. I don't care. And then you go here and open the door. Boom. Amazing. I'm really glad I could help there because uh, these, these doors... Um, the evidence in this section is <laughs> in the worst location possible, but it's actually not that difficult to get. The method I used here isn't the one I kind of, isn't the one I like. It's a little bit risky, because I remember the awareness bar going up quite a bit when I tried to do it. Um, and I think when I was practicing, I had done it a different way, which is safer. Uh, but I had spent a long time sort of planning it so I was in this section for a while uh, and this recording I did quickly but I didn't do it the same way as in the practice uh, the practice for the recording so yeah and this was a little bit more risky I, I recommend getting to that post actually so you want to go from the other side and go to that post closest to us instead of crossing like this right that's it's really risky and it's and uh, you could get caught. Going to that post instead and hiding behind it is probably better. So going right here, see where I yeah, and that's and then going back. Yeah. So from that that first spot I was at, get behind the post, um, and then get to the evidence and then quickly go back. Okay, you're basically just using the post for about a second. It's just, it'll bring the awareness meter straight down if it's gained any kind of awareness. If that makes any sense. Which it probably doesn't, but who cares? Alright, that's it. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, it's an annoying mission, but it's not, it's, not the, it's not the most difficult in this game. Alright, so objective complete, evidence removed, not spotted. Which is what's really important. Well, the evidence is important as well. Um, objective complete. Evidence removed. Boom. Not spotted, by the way. Not spotted. Evidence removed. Objective complete. Not spotted. Evidence removed. Objective complete. Amazing. Times three. If you don't know where something is, just ask. I will tell you. Chipmunk costume. Okay. Uh, and that's it. That is it. I've been Lord Fussington. And uh, the next video is uh, Mission 12. I don't remember what it's called. It's, you were in the factory, basically. Um, thank you very much for watching. Kindly rate, comment, subscribe, and like. I've got a Facebook and a Twitter and a website. Until next time.